Hey, by the way, we have a Discord server. The link is in the description. Please join it. Thank you and enjoy the video. Why am I not getting more subs? I guess I gotta make videos about really interesting topics. Anyway, let's talk about etymology. Now the study of words and phrases doesn't seem like the most interesting thing to make a video about. I mean, the English language is pretty fucked up already. So trying to find the lineage of a word is like trying to find the second sock in your laundry. It's boring, takes a long ass time, and after you're done, nobody really gives a shit. But English does have a few phrases with interesting origins, so here they are. Our first one is the phrase, wet behind the ears. It came about in the mid 1800s. When a new animal is born, it's covered in a lot of what's scientifically known as bird juices. The mother licks off most of the bird juices from the baby. You gotta get those nutrients back somehow. But its tongue can't reach behind the baby's ear, so that part stays wet. So basically, newborn animals are wet behind the ears. In the same way, when you're new to something, you're gonna be pretty bad at it, just like a newborn animal. And so that's what the phrase means. Our next one is the phrase, turn a blind eye. This one also came from the 1800s. Apparently, people at the time were just really creative with their words. I have absolutely no idea why. The phrase was inspired by Horatio Nelson. He was a British Navy officer with one arm, one eye, and one hell of an ego. As the story goes, during the Battle of Copenhagen, the British were fighting the Danish. Nelson's boss sent out an order to basically stop attacking and retreat. You couldn't exactly shout your message across a battlefield though, so the Navy used flags to send these messages. This means yes, this means no, and this means I surrender. Nelson, however, didn't really want to stop fighting, and so he put the telescope to his blind eye and said, I don't see the signal and continued fighting. He probably thought he sounded cool and badass when he said that, but it probably went down like, I don't see the signal. <coughs> I don't see the- I heard you the first time. What are you doing? Oh, I'm blind in the eye, so I don't see the signal. You get the joke? Yeah, I get that, but do you like it? What do you mean do I like it? You're supposed to be following instructions. You're gonna get us all fired. Yeah, but come on. This is gonna sound really cool a hundred years later. <sighs> Whatever man, if the boss asks about this, I wasn't here. Fortunately for Nelson, he actually won the battle, even though he didn't follow orders, and he became a national hero in England. And so, because Nelson put the telescope to his blind eye, that's where the phrase comes from. You see kids, you should disobey your superior's orders and you'll be famous. Your mom tells you don't do drugs? Fuck her, smoke heroin, die at 30, and you'll definitely be on national news. Our next phrase is, it costs an arm and a leg. Now I initially thought that this referred to actual body parts, and my first thought was, wait, you can sell your limbs? And then my second thought was, how much are they worth? Unfortunately, my dreams of being a wealthy quadriplegic were quickly dashed away as I realized that the cost was more metaphorical rather than monetary. After the American Civil War, a lot of soldiers started showing up missing a limb or two here and there and people said the war cost them an arm and a leg. Eventually, the phrase began being used more metaphorically in newspapers, and now it just means something really expensive. But don't worry, you can still sell your body parts and get rich. The only problem is that, once the police catch up to you, you can't exactly run away. Our last phrase is, as mad as a hatter. This phrase comes from the 1800s too, when Mr. John English, the inventor of English, smoked a bit too much opium and said, you know what, fuck hatters. In the 19th century, a lot of hats were felt hats. Who were they felt by? <laughs> At the time, it was common to make hats out of a material called felt. Felt was a decent material, but it had one big problem. The hatters had to use mercury to make it. Unfortunately, mercury is poisonous, so the mercury vapors entered the hatter's brain and did some voodoo magic shit, and basically caused the hatter's brain to shut down leaving them with memory loss, paralysis, basically leaving them disabled. What's wrong, man? I'm almost done with my dictionary, but I just can't finish this one phrase. As mad as a... something. I just can't figure it out. Help me. Please. That's it! As mad as a hatter. Thanks, mate. You've been really helpful. <laughs> Since we're making fun of disabled people anyway, I'd like to introduce a new phrase to the English language. As slow as an amputee. Those wacky amputees with their crutches sure do take a long time to go places. How about that one, Mr. English? Thankfully nowadays, mercury isn't used in the production of hats and hat makers aren't crazy anymore. Okay, take that back, they're fucking insane. So yeah, 
those are some common phrases with weird back stories like the video if you liked it subscribe hit the bell leave a comment and check out some other videos in the description also check out the discord server i'll see you guys later i got bad